Hey everybody, this is Dr. Missy Hood with Ezekiel's Wheel. I want to wish you a happy Wednesday. I um, hope everybody's doing great today. We may see a few people want to jump on here, and if not, I'm just going to keep going. Um, I want to jump on here real quick because I wanted to give you guys some insight about what's been going on. If you haven't seen the post from Patricia King for the warnings for leaders and watchmen, intercessors for 2019, she was warning about how the Lord had said that there was high-level witchcraft and Satanism banding together against the watchmen against leadership and and it makes sense as to why God has us automatically I mean God's always eight lays ahead of the enemy anyway but he's why he's always had us um, starting to join together under the corporate anointing and under different tribes to start praying under a corporate anointing and so for those of you who have been experiencing higher levels of demonic warfare out of nowhere since uh, January 1 that's why that's exactly why and so they're coming at us full throttle uh, they promised that they would and so but it's good to know that we have a God he's always on top of things and he's always ahead of the eight ball as far as what he's doing for the watchman if you've never watched Ezekiel's wheel before we are the news and the natural we give you news by the spirit uh, daily and weekly you can Friend me on my Facebook page and find out what's going on for the Watchmen every single day. I make posts in the news every single day to help you track what's going on. As well as we also, with Pastor Vicki Yoshikawa and myself, we also host the Ezekiel's Will Show every Friday night to show you what's going on in the spirit around you weekly. So it's a great way to track. It's a great way to find out what's going on in your world, what's going on in the natural, so that you can continue to stay on top of everything. And so as we move forward... Um, the witchcraft is heightened, and so there are a lot of people experiencing higher levels than they normally would of warfare for this time of the year. And the Lord wants to know, he just wants us to know that he's already given us a strategy to combat it with. He, he already knows how he wants to deal with it. And so we are actually, it's what's been going on the last couple days around us, because the Lord's been putting in the pieces of the puzzle together for us because we had a massive attack on one of our teammates yesterday on a member of her family and it's super upsetting where the enemy tried to take out a member of her family and so um, ironically enough and this is how good God is is that when the enemy comes in like a flood God raises up a standard and so what the Lord is showing us is that even last night after the attack had taken place I had a call from one of my teammates and she's like Dr. Missy have you heard about strange fire and I said I sure have I study it all the time and I've read about it it happened to Aaron's sons who came before a holy God with strange fire and strange fire is witchcraft it's witchcraft and um, witchcraft is what attacks when it's trying to shut down the warriors now the five signs of witchcraft are fear doubt unbelief discouragement and depression but there's also those are the major ones by the way those are five red flags but for a prophet what they what witchcraft does is it hinders us from hearing the Lord that's your first red flag when you get into an environment and you can't hear the Lord very well that's a red flag someone's operating in Jezebel around you which is with the mother of witchcraft or somebody has operated in the occult which is witchcraft and so anyhow um, we had an individual who had gotten attacked in their family and so one of my teammates came last night and was talking about strange fire and talking about Leviticus 10 1 through 7 you want to write that down Leviticus 10 1 through 7 that is your strategy to combat the witchcraft in this hour if you're a watchman or an intercessor um, because the witchcraft is so high for this time of year now if you're in watchmen you understand that we're in the first phase of the contraction points there are four contraction points for watchmen per year and if you're on Ezekiel's wheel you're going to know those um, because we work through phase one phase two phase three and phase four again we're in phase one right now hi how are you Sharon welcome welcome everybody um, I'm staying focused real quick so I can continue this point on but welcome um, but we're in phase one of the four contraction points for the intercessors. As you move into the year, the contractions get stronger, okay? And the ninth of Av is the hardest day of the year for the watchmen, okay? 
So that's going to be your strongest contraction point. And then after that, it kind of it gets a little bit intense, but not as a, not as as intense as it would would be at the ending of like July August area. And so we'll be teaching you about that as we get into that season. But we're in the first phase of the first contraction point. This first phase is usually the lightest of all of them. It, it's usually like a, a it's like a three month sabbatical if you will for watchmen to kind of give us a reprieve from all the he double l we went through the first part of the or the last year the end of the year, last year that we just came out of and so it's imperative that you understand the months of the year um, if you're not familiar with chuck pierce's book a time to advance you need to buy that book because it talks about the prophetic meetings of each month the Hebraic meanings of each month, what goes on prophetically uh, for the watchman, how uh, the different snares that the enemy comes at the watchman with or the body with. So you want to buy that book. You can get it at GloryInZion.org or on Amazon.com. I also suggest that watchmen buy the book um, Navigating the Courts of Heaven by Robert Henderson. Okay, Praying Medic has also got a book out by Navigating the Courts of Heaven. They're both very, very good. You only need one of them by either or. So, But you need those two books if you're a watchman, if you're an intercessor. You definitely need those two books if you're going to be an effective warrior. So getting back on track, a member of our team got attacked, had a family member attacked yesterday. And um, basically what we learned because they were talking about strange fire coming at us and talking about Leviticus 10, 1 through 7. Well, if you know in Moses' time, when Moses went to visit Pharaoh, Pharaoh had fake magicians. He had fake prophets, fake teachers. And these fake teachers, would <clears throat> they threw down their staff and it turned into a snake, right? So then the Lord had Moses throw down his staff and it turned into a bigger snake, which consumed the other snakes. Strange fire is like that. Strange fire is the smaller snake. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to release Leviticus 10, 1 through 7 around you to consume. The holy fire of God is going to consume all the witchcraft that's hitting your families, that's hitting your gifts, that's hitting your stuff. You want to write this stuff down. That's hitting the things that should be manifesting around you, your finances, your health your wealth, your family, healing, you name it, you label it, but you want the holy fire of God to consume every unholy fire, strange fire around you, and to take out the source so that you, so that they know you mean business because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And when people want to challenge a holy God like Aaron's sons did, they're going to get the holy consequences of touching a holy fire, a holy place. And so you want to know how to do that. That's your first tool. The second key in all this is are you connected to an anointing somewhere so you have the power source behind you to fight while you're releasing the word. There's a key and people get all bent out of shape when you talk about their good morning, good morning guys. I love my Aussie friends. I have several of you from Australia. I love you all. Um, but um, it's, it's a key when you're trying to plug in as a watchman and as an intercessor. And I I'm, I'm talk to my team about this all the time, about staying connected to the anointing. And how do you do that? Because people get all bent when you talk about their pocketbooks. But we make it easy for our teammates. You can connect to the anointing on this team for $1. $1 a month. You get the same full throttle uh, power and anointing um, that flows at the top. So we realize if you don't have it, you don't have it, but we make it easy on you because we want you on the same spiritual page. We want you to have locking shields with us. We want you moving forward in the power source where we're all carrying our own weight and we're moving forward. So we move forward together, lock shields and impenetrable, Father, as a, as a group through the Lord in our lives. And so that's a key. And besides, the Lord told me this morning, woke me up at 7 o'clock this morning, and he said, you realize that you grow where you sow. You grow where you sow. Now, what does the anointing also do for you? The anointing brings the gifts of a ministry head. What happens at the head trickles down like the oil on the beard of Aaron. But it grows the, the or excuse me, it, it releases the gifts from the head onto those who plug into it, who sow into it. So you grow where you sow. The anointing breaks the yoke. So you're going to want to be plugged in somewhere. If it's not here, it's going to hopefully be at some ministry where they've got a powerhouse anointing so that it's good ground, so that you're reaping a harvest. And to give you a little bit of background on Ezekiel's will, we have people being given new cars. 
We have people being given jobs that pay double. We have people being given raises and bonuses and commissions out of nowhere. So I know that this is good ground. I know also that there's a powerhouse anointing here if you care to be involved with Watchmen and you're needing a tribe. So we're welcoming you there. If you're interested in trying to join, you want to email me at memoirs of an ADHD mind at gmail.com. That's memoirs of an ADHD mind at gmail.com. So you can email me and we talk about it, and that's another conversation for that day. But so there's power in connecting to, to the anointing. But for you right now, intercessor, what's God saying for you today? And I want to bring up my notes real quick. I mean, because the Lord has been talking to me this morning about, pardon me, not being stuck. Or, or being stuck in a bent lens, not being stuck looking at life or looking at your prayers, at the Word of God through a bent lens. Because I think people have a tendency, even when they read the Word, if you're still needing deliverance and healing in some areas, you're going to look at the Word through that unhealed area, through the lens of that hurt. And so if you need to be willing to grow and to change and be changed. And that's where God has us in this hour. Pardon me. He is, he's got the body in this place where we're still coming out of deliverance. Even from last year, I know a lot of the, the body and a lot of the watchmen were going through unbelievable deliverance last year. And we're still going through that. We're still in that cycle. We're still in that place where God's taking us and we're repenting for different things in the bloodline because of the way the enemy has used witchcraft to come at our bloodlines because we don't know the sins of our fathers. We don't know the sins, and sins can go up to a thousand generations. So if you don't know the sins of your forefathers and you're still not walking in a blessed place, that usually means there's a curse operating somewhere. And that was the strategic way that the enemy came at the warriors. And so he came at us in our times, dimension, realms, and seasons of the spirit through deep hurts and fragmentation. What is fragmentation? before I get too off course here. Fragmentation is when you've experienced trauma after trauma after trauma after trauma with no breathing room in between. And it's it, it's fractured your soul. It's fractured your mind to where you don't have a single eye of focus. You don't have a single eye of faith. If you don't have a single eye of focus and a single eye of faith, that means that your light, the light of Christ, is going everywhere. It's not beaming in or honing in on the target. It's not getting caught in the crosshairs of your big guns of prayer. And so that really hinders you from having advancement and moving forward into your dreams and into your destinies and getting breakthroughs. And so that was a strategy of the enemy to come at the frontline warriors for the end times because he knew the ones that God was fixing to raise up were here now. The Joel 2-5 army, the Psalms 104-4 army, the fire warriors were the tip of the spear. We're the ones he's really worried about. We're the ones he's really, really worried about because we're the ones the Psalms 1044 warriors are the ones he's really afraid of because they are the fire warriors. We're the ones that operate near the throne of God, the throne room of God. And so it's critical in this hour that you're willing to go through deliverance, that you're willing to go through inner healing so that you can continue to move into that place of power, into the power position as a watchman, which is another reason why Ezekiel's wheel is here to help you and to train you and equip you and teach you these high power tools so that you can step up into position and maintain your position while advancing and helping others behind you advance. Okay. So, rebelling against growth. We've got some people that are rebelling against growth in this hour. And that's a really, really serious thing because people, it's, it's amazing to me how people in the body, um, they want to pretend, and I've seen it with the news, I've seen it in many, many different areas, With especially after the new year. It's like nobody, the intercessors are so overloaded and still fatigued that they're really it's like they want to stick their heads in the ground like an ostrich. You can't do that, guys. You can't do that. You have to stay engaged. And especially from this point on, because how does God turn a ship around? How does God, God get rid of globalism? How does God get rid of the demonic? He stays on it. He keeps his warriors harnessed on it, honed in on it. So it's like Joshua and Caleb. And, and if you heard our word for Vicki Yoshikawa and myself, Pastor Vicki and myself, if you heard the word for 2019, and even when I was on with Amanda Grace, we were talking about the word for 2019 and how the Lord 
before in December had entered the watchmen very secretly into a secret place, into a place that was highly protected, into a tunnel, a fire tunnel. Okay. And it was strategic because the fire was holy around us. He started us in that fire in 2018. And I could see as he entered me into it, I could see big black snakes to my right. And I got kind of panicked thinking, and I asked the Lord, I said, God, can they see me? Can they see me? And Lord said, no, they can't see you, but you can see them. And he goes, I had purposefully entered my watchman into this place to move them from point A to point Z safely to get my watchman all the way across. And as we exited New Year's Eve out of the fire tunnel, I saw like dead dead grass, like, but it was a small patch. It wasn't a big patch at all, but tall dead grass. And the Lord said, go look up that. Go look up the meaning prophetically of tall dead grass, which stands for old issues that haven't been resolved, um, things that hurts that haven't been healed, things of the past that still need to be resolved. But it's at the, it's a very, very short season as you exit the fire tunnel. Okay. So then I saw after the, after the tall dead grass, I saw lush, lush miles and miles of tall green grass. And I, and Alicia, go look up the meaning of that. And so I was like, okay, cool. That, that got me really excited. And so it stands for fortune, prosperity, uh, good, good news coming, new opportunities coming. And so that's what we have coming up. That's what we have coming up in our, in our natural, if we stay the course. And so in the vision as well, I did because for a month, all through the month of December, I heard a cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night, a cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night. I said, Lord, what's up with that? What's up with that? I said, okay, you're, I know you're around us. You're around us all the time. He said, yeah, but this season is very different. It's very, very different because I'm staying very close to the watchman. I'm very, I'm, I'm staying close to those and I'm drawing near the throne. He goes, Missy, you'll always know this. He goes, when I get ready to bring my watchman up, he goes, for those who really want to dwell near me, he goes, they'll always go through the fire first to enter into that most holy place. The throne room is where there's fire all the time. So if you don't like fire, you're not going to like the throne room because there's that's all that's in there is holy fire. So that's why God is teaching us about strange fire versus holy fire. And so he's teaching us how to recognize the real from the fake because we've now even got witchcraft operating in churches. So you're going to have to be able to discern good from evil. I think that's Hebrews 5.14. And be praying that up around your vessel, around your discernment levels, so that you're able to see the truth from a lie. Because now the enemy wants to counter. And I could sense that coming last year. I could sense that too as well. I, I've been sensing it for a few years, and I've been wondering when it was going to start manifesting. But when the enemy was going to try to counter God's true prophets. And here we are. Here we are. So you're in a great place. Because in the vision, where the vision ended for 2019, and we just broke through, by the way, if you're not catching the prayer calls, we have public prayer calls for you to join in on, even if you're international. There's an international number where you can join in on. But we're going to start having a healing call, healing and deliverance calls. And the first one is going to be this Saturday. And you're going to want to join us with that because my special guest and best friend, Wilhelmina Eve, is help, helping to head that up. And she's a high-powered apostolic intercessor with a gift of healing. And so if, if you think there's anointing here right now, you haven't seen anything. You haven't seen anything. It's fun to pray with my, I love praying with Wilhelmina. I love praying with her. So you're going to want to join us at 1030 a.m. this Saturday, CST. Go look for the uh, post. I'll post it again today. I'll give the call-in number, mark your calendars. But you want to be there because what that's going to prepare us for, we're also going to have a courtroom call. But we only let the courtroom calls uh, we only do the courtroom calls for our team. So again, if you want to be on Ezekiel's Wheel, you need to email me at memoirs of an ADHD mind at gmail.com. Okay, memoirs of an ADHD mind at gmail.com, and we can have that discussion there because we'd love to train you. We'd love to have you. We'd love to see you advance and work with you. So, but we're going to be having that. But the courtroom calls, we're teaching watchmen how to navigate the courts of heaven. Heaven is a city. Heaven, the kingdom of God resides within you, right? Well, God takes me to heaven all the time. I've walked the streets of heaven. There are military bases in heaven. There's a library in heaven. There are libraries. I've only been to the main one with the Lord. 
and we have to have a heavenly library card to check out the books there. But the Lord keeps books about everything that goes on in the earth. He keeps heavenly books. He keeps books about your life, about your destiny. And then he keeps the demonic section. He has a demonic section that holds the enemy strategies. And you just go in and you ask him, Lord, what book do I check out to learn how to pray for this situation? So we're teaching you on Ezekiel's wheel how to navigate the courts of heaven, how to go into heaven to go after what you need. There is a palace in heaven. God's throne room is in that palace. In the throne room, there is an armament room where they, ha they have new weapons of war for the angels and for you. There are gardens in heaven. My goodness, there are so many things to see there. And, and, and it's just really, really cool. There's a lot of information, but those are the things we get into on Ezekiel's wheel. So <clears throat> if you... I hope you guys, I think you guys are my friends on Facebook. You can friend me on Facebook and on uh, Twitter and on, uh, what's the other one, Instagram and YouTube. We, we post our YouTube videos as well on there. So you want to check out those. But um, you definitely want to be on this Facebook page uh, to get these teachings every Friday and then these 15-minute revs when I do them during the week because those are strategically for you, Watchmen. They're strategically for the intercessor. That's what this page is for. It's for no one other person but the Watchmen and the intercessors. And we're training you and we're equipping you. We're getting you ready to rock. So you want to be on these things when we have these posts so you can be in position hope you've enjoyed our 15 minute rev today we'll catch you this friday and we have a great rest of the week we love you bye bye